Wallabies news of the last minute. Surprisingly, our reporters got this valuable information. But before we get into the news, I'd like to make a request. Subscribe to the channel so we can soon surpass the number of subscribers of All Blacks. Together, we will conquer the rank of the main news channel. Former Test veterans are urging Wallabies coach Eddie Jones to provide a straightforward response regarding his interactions with Japan as the contentious aftermath of the unsuccessful Rugby World Cup campaign persists. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, Jones had an interview for the Japan coaching position before the World Cup, and he has not explicitly refuted these claims. We momentarily interrupt the news to share a crucial announcement. We want to emphasize that if you want to continue receiving the latest updates through YouTube recommendations, it is of utmost importance that you leave your like on this video. Thank you in advance. We will now return to the ongoing news. I believe Eddie needs to come out directly and state either no, I did not conduct a Zoom interview with Japan Pop. yes, I did. Former Wallabies player Morgan Churanui stated on Stan Sports between two posts. Witness all the Rugby World Cup 2023 action on the home of rugby, Stan Sport. Every match ad free, live, and available on demand in 4K UHD. We need to ascertain that he is genuinely dedicated. All Blacks legend Andrew Mertens described it as a dreadful appearance. The timing of it looks extremely bad, Mertens commented. He's once again coming across as a fervent flag waver, and, until people receive clarity, they will speculate or assume that it may have involved jumping ship earlier than 2027 and going to Japan, which appears unfavorable in this context. Jones signed a five-year contract with Rugby Australia in January after being pursued by Chairman Hamish McLennan. He has won just one of seven tests in charge, and the Wallabies are on the verge of missing the World Cup quarterfinals for the first time. He has had a standing offer to return to Japan for years, Chiranui noted. Perhaps it stings more due to the rather parochial nature of the appointment. In the past six months, Jones donned the Akubra hat, wore RM Williams boots, spoke about being Australian, what it means to be Australian, and visited Arnhem Land. So maybe it feels more like a betrayal than a coach exploring other potential options, if we hadn't ventured down that particular narrative. It has shifted from a smash and grab, the way the media has been managed, the discussion and presentation of the World Cup campaign, and the selection process, along with player notifications, have all been chaotic. It's the least organized Eddie Jones environment I've ever witnessed. Jones infamously berated journalists at Sydney Airport before the World Cup, telling them to give themselves uppercuts after what he perceived as negative lines of questioning. There have been some extremely odd occurrences this year, and at times, I thought maybe it was for entertainment, or perhaps there was a strategy behind it, Chiranui remarked. Chiranui played under Jones, as did Stephen Hoyles, who also urged Jones to provide more transparency regarding the problematic connections with Japan. I believe we are entitled to learn the truth because there are currently two sides to the story, champion Randwick coach Hoyles stated on Stan Sports RWC 2023 Central. I think once the truth is revealed, that's when we can make a decision about who is the best leader for the country, based on the results and the fact that he, Jones, chose a young squad, and none of us were particularly confident that we would succeed with that squad. The squad Dave Rennie had, I believe, would have performed much better in this World Cup, but Eddie attempted to enact significant changes. It has certainly backfired. He's done it. He's hurried things. He has not been able to make the required changes in a short period of time, but he has a long-term contract, and the sport cannot afford to pay out any more coaches. I would truly like to sit back and allow the dust to settle, complete this campaign, and then find out what exactly is happening because for the past decade, his, Jones, been heavily involved in Japanese rugby union. He remains the director of rugby at Suntory, Sun Goliath, and has held that position the entire time. We don't know if this Zoom meeting was solely for his ambitions to coach Japan, or if he was simply taking calls to assist them in finding a coach. We don't have all the answers yet. And you know, 
I can understand why the CEO has to say I'm backing the coach because that's what the coach is currently stating. We will get to the bottom of it. As rugby enthusiasts, we deserve to get to the bottom of it.